The men's basketball team hosted St. Joe's at Bender Arena in a prime time matchup that aired on Comcast Sportsnet in both D.C. and Philadelphia. Senior Charles Hinkle led the Eagles with a career best 32 points. Let's take a look. We knew St. Joe's was a, was a great team. Uh, we knew coming in that, you know, if we could get this win, it will be huge for us. So coming in, you know, everyone was playing hard in practice, and uh, we just really prepared for it. We had seen plenty of film uh, on St. Joe's and knew that uh, in, in transition, they were really, really hard to, to defend. We needed to make sure we, we took care of the basketball, we got a good shot, but that we really uh, did a great job in defensive transition of, of getting back, getting the shooters, and not allow them to just kind of pick us off. Their point guard does a great job of, of dribble penetrating, so you know we wanted to try to limit that. And uh, if we could hold our own on the boards, we thought that uh, you know we could at least keep a handle on the game uh, on the defensive end. We knew coming in, they're a good team. We knew we we're going to pick, we need to pick it up on defense as well as offense. We got off to a good start, and, and, and our guys were excited to play. But anytime you, you make shots early, I, I think that kind of gives you some confidence. And you know we were able to knock down some shots, and, and Charles was just you know fantastic all night. Well, Hinkle knocks down the three there. Our guys kind of kept going to him, and that was a difficult matchup for St. Joe's. They were bigger than us at the, at the four and the five spot, but they didn't have a guy really as mobile. And then when they went with a smaller player there, that enabled us to have an advantage at a different position. So I think once we got the lead and our guys had some confidence, you know, we felt like we could move them around and, and be successful uh, offensively. St. Joe's is, is a good team, and you knew that they were going to make a run of, of sorts, and we just wanted to make sure that we kind of held them off as, as best we could. But the fact that we responded with getting some big stops and, and able to you know, make, make a, a couple timely uh, baskets of our own, I, you know, I thought that was you know, really important and, and, and said a lot about our guys that you know, we, we might bend, but uh, hopefully we, we don't break. Having them come back and tie the game and, and regaining the lead and, and holding it um, was big for us. In the end, um, Troy drove the, the basketball and kicked it out to me and hit the big three, um, kind of like to seal it. Um, other than that, I just feel like uh, it was just a fun game and I don't know, everything was just clicking for me. Deep jumper scored and he'll go to the line to try for a four point play. See, he is really feeling it. He's made some tough shots both in and out of the three point lane. It was definitely a momentum booster. Um, you know, the team felt good uh, going out of the game. Um, you know, it was a huge one for us. I don't think, I uh, can't remember the biggest one we had, but I feel like that was a huge one for us. Jeff Jones and his American University Eagles have hung on to win their seventh straight game, snapping the St. Joe's two-game win streak and winning here 66-60. St. Joe's is, is, is a very good team. We, we played extremely well, and it's a, a, a terrific win for us, and, and hopefully it gives us a, a, a shot in the arm in, in terms of confidence that you know, if we take care of certain things, uh, the, the type of team that, uh, you know, that, that we could be. So, you know, there's a, a lot of basketball left, uh, but, uh, you know, we, we want to continue improving. Having some success is always a good motivator for, for guys to continue working hard. A great win for the home team.